Great, let's continue with more Final Fantasy XIV. Let's go speak with Momadi. Seems like that are becoming ever more common, I'm afraid. Don't worry though, if you work hard, you'll probably be alright. Saying that, if you ever find yourself in a spot of bother, come see me. Just don't go pestering me every time you graze your knee, eh? Of course, I do enjoy hearing tale of a gentleman's woes with the women folk from time to time. Ah, sorry to keep you waiting. I was just providing guidance to a fresh off the carriage adventure. But gods, it's good to see you safe and well. To look at you, no one would ever guess you'd been hard at it with giants in the dark. Your very elm, the adventurer Mion said you'd be. The station master will be overjoyed when he hears the news. Oh, before I forget, there's a lass here who wants a word with you. Didn't actually know your name, but hearing her description, I knew who she meant right away. Thank you for sparing the time. I realize you don't know me, but I've been long longing to speak with you for a while now. I think we saw her back in Gridania. My name is Edda. I'm an adventurer like you, though I'm not very good at being one, if truth be told. Anyway, I was adventuring with my friends in Gridania when... I'm sorry, we were in Gridania when the lead of our party was killed. His name was Avir, and he and I were to be wed in the spring. You may not remember him, but to say that he remembered you would be an understatement. He would sing your praises from dawn to dusk. He saw, what you, he saw you for what you are, you see, an adventurer's adventure, and swore that he would be like you one day. I believe that he would have succeeded had not a fiend robbed him of the chance. Since that day, I have long thought, I've thought long and hard about giving up adventuring. But when I think of the woman you are, of all that you've achieved, I find that I'm inspired, just as Avera once was. And so I've decided to start again as an adventurer. I will go back to the village of my birth and begin my training anew. But I wanted to meet you first to ask your name. I shan't forget your name. Thank you. I pray that we will meet again. Fare you well. Adventuring can be a cruel bleeding business. Time was... I didn't know why anyone would bother. When they first asked me to take charge of the guild here, I didn't want aught to do with you lot. Thought it would be a right pain in the arse looking after all of you. But against my better judgment, I decided to accept the post and I'm full glad I did. I feel privileged to be a part of your lives. And that goes double for yours. Eh? What did you say? You want to know about the signs of the seventh dawn? They're beginning to move in earnest then. Listen, the signs ain't no ordinary folk, and the work they do ain't no ordinary work. I know full well how capable you are, but even you would think twice about attempting some of the stuff they do. Knowing that, if you're still certain you want to get involved, I'll tell you what I can. Okay, so we can get that, that, nah. Alright, so let's talk to Momadi again. Momadi is ready to tell you what she knows about the science of the Seventh Dawn. So you want to know about then? Do you? Well, ain't that a surprise. I swear, if I painted certain death on one door and limitless wealth on another, nine out of ten adventurers would go through the first and the other block wouldn't be able to choose on account of being old on. Anyway, don't say I didn't warn you. First of all, if you're wondering whether you can trust these signs of the Seventh Dawn, you can. They're good people who've made it their mission to solve some of Yosier's most pressing problems. Of course, that ain't no small task, and so they're always looking for dependable individuals to join them. Individuals like you. Now, I've been given leave to tell you where to find the signs, but you must promise to keep this information to yourself. As you can probably imagine, it's something Yosier's enemies would very much like to know. The signs are headquartered in Vesper Bay, out in Western Tanalan. The place that you're looking for is called the Waking Sands. Give your name to whoever's at the entrance and you'll be let in. Vesper Bay in Western Tanalin. But you're Roman in demand, and the days ahead promise to be busy. But I hope you won't forget about them, as helped make you into the adventurer you are. 
drop in and tell them how you're faring from time to time. You hear it, right? Right, well, I've said my piece. Off you go. Okay, so go to the Waking Sands in Vesper Bay. It's in Western Tamerlane. <laughs> Definitely really, really need to get ourselves a ride. Out of my heart, a lonely flower blooms, yearning for the heavens above to quench my thirst for you. Yes, she's singing. I would uh, thank you not to sneak up on me like that. Now, please be advised that this is private property. Unless you have pertinent business here, I must ask you to. Here at the behest of Ida and Papa Limo. My sincerest apologies. May I please have your name? Ah, here you are. The I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands, headquarters of the Signs of the Seventh Dawn. My name is Tataru, and I look forward to assisting you during your time with us. The antecedent is within the solar. I shall let her know to expect you. deft pause. Tatar sent word that you had arrived. Lady Minifiller is has eagerly awaited your coming. This way, if you please. Um. Adventure of whom I've heard so much. Well met, friend. My name is Minfilia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. 
I have awaited your coming. Please, be at ease. You are among friends here. No doubt you are ripe to burst with questions. But have patience. All will be revealed in time. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea, nay, the world at large, and we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. This talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space, a mind without a body? All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul, a power known as the Echo. The Echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. For another blessing, the Echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. In short, the Echo is a truly extraordinary power, and this power is strong within you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. That's right. I, too, possess the Echo. With that established, let us return to the subject of the Primals. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, lend us your power. Well, I was enjoying the voice acting there. A naturally your ailed will not go unrewarded. We are fortunate to have a number of influential allies, and at word from me, they will gladly afford you certain privileges that might otherwise be denied you. The right to employ retainers, for example. Are you familiar with them? They are individuals who may be relied upon to manage your assets and belongings on your behalf. The papers you requested, my lady. Tataru. The pleasure is mine, my lady. By way of a welcoming gift, I have taken the liberty of adding your name to the retainer's registry. As of now, you are entitled to employ the services of a retainer. You will also need to consult a retainer vocate regarding the particulars of this arrangement. But believe me when I say that retainers will prove invaluable to you in your adventuring endeavors. 
Let this gesture serve as evidence of our commitment to do all in our power to facilitate your personal objectives. In return, we ask that you aid us to the fullest extent of your talents. A mutual beneficial friendship, I'm sure you will agree, and one which serves the greater good besides. Well, that was a veritable lecture, was it not? Forgive me, but it is important that all concerned are aware of what is expected of them. Now you know our purpose and what we can offer you. I invite you to consider joining us. When you have come to a decision, you may tell me without fear of censure. In good faith, I shall entrust you with our order's password, which our members can use to reach one another when afield. It is Wild Rose. Pray keep it safe. Retainers now available. Let's see, hiring a retainer, let's see. Retainers are helpful NPCs who can be hired by players to carry out such tasks as storing excess gel and gear or selling unwanted items on the markets. They may also be sent afield on ventures. A contract of service can be drafted by Fridweb. In Limsa Lamisa, in Limsa Lamisa Parnell in Gridania and Chuckabee in Oldar or Prunella in Ishgard, players may hire no more than eight retainers at once. Yeah, my question is, why do they have the voice acting for certain small sections and then it's non-existent for the most part? What is Peloton? Increases movement speed of self and nearby party members as long as they remain within distance. I like this one. We science have but one objective, to safeguard the future of yours here. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Long have we striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it is that first brought you to Eorzea, but I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Consider this when you give me your answer. Let's see, Mint Filler is waiting to hear whether or not you will pledge your support to the signs of the 7th Legion. I guess why not? I take it you will help us. Here's the voice acting again. Wonderful. I knew you wouldn't let us down. But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. Tell me. Does the name Charlian ring any bells? No. It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelveswood. Hello there! Well come! I had every confidence that you would agree to help us. Me too. <gasps> okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Greetings. 
Last but not least is Orianger, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. The words of a dear friend. I am glad of our meeting. At the Battle of Cartonneau, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Orianger, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shanty town outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye, the evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, fair lady. Only the voice acting would always be there. Final Fantasy would be so much better. So, a wild rose by any other name. Ready to begin, are we? That's the spirit. So then, your mission is to investigate a crystal robbery and a spate of abductions. Crimes which are believed to be connected. Assuming we are correct, it is like that. It is like that any discoveries we make in relation to one will further our understanding of the other. Now, since the attack of their caravan, our friends at Amagina and Sun's Mineral Concern have doubled security over all their shipments. In light of this, it is my judgment that the abductions should be our priority. According to our preliminary findings, the majority of the missing were last seen in the vicinity of Camp Drybone, so that would seem a fine place to begin. A fellow by the name Isambard serves as the camp's de facto leader. Pay him a visit and see that he gives us his full cooperation. Eastern Tonalan.
Okay, so we have to find a way to get to Easton Donnellan. Actually, I'm going to say let's teleport to Central. Let's get this place up here north. Let's uh, discover it, put it on the map. Just uh, map ourselves to all these uh, these etherites, just to make our travel a little bit easier from time to time. Then after that, we're gonna head to the east and get uh, Eastern Donnellan. teleport back to Central.
Right, we've returned to the Aetherite. We're more than half an hour in, so let's take a break. We'll be right back with more Final Fantasy XIV. 